viewers, today is day one of a partial relaxation that we are looking at in many parts of the country. Yes, of course, right now still it's in the prelim stages where many of the states are still figuring out just how they want it implemented, where they want uh, some kind of relaxation to come and how will this actually take place. Some states though have decided to play it completely safe. So states like Punjab and Delhi and Telangana have decided to continue with the lockdown. In fact, Telangana has said they're going to have the lockdown till 7th of May. But then there are other states like Kerala, like Maharashtra, who have decided that they will start bringing in partial relaxation. So now let's look at what the situation is. While we bring in this partial relaxation, cases in our country are still spiking are still peaking right now we have over 17,000 cases in our country there have been the death rate is about 3.16 percent and the recovery rate is about 16.09 percent this is as of 20th april evening 5 30 pm but i want to just tell you and take you through just how this data looked in the last few days as of 15th april viewers five days ago we had less than 12,000 cases and then as of Sunday, Sunday morning, we had 15,000 cases. Since then, by Sunday night, it had become 16,116 cases and now it's gone up even more. On a daily basis, between 1,000 and 2,000 cases are being added and hence, that's the question. This is the concern. At, at this given point of time, when we don't have, when we have more and more cases emerging, should we be looking at some kind of dilution? At a given point of time, when we are being told 80% of the cases that we found were asymptomatic, were not showing any symptoms, should we be bringing in any kind of relaxation? Should we be giving, putting down our guard, letting our guard down and saying, okay, Let's allow some kind of movement. Is that the prudent way to go forward? Can governments really bring in some kind of relaxation? Let's say good evening to the panelists who are joining us. Raghav Chadra, spokesperson for the Aam Aadmi Party. I've also got Dr. Sudarshan Balal, chairman for Manipal Hospitals, joining us this evening. He is also a member of the COVID-19 task force in Karnataka. Dr. Subhash Salunke, senior advisor with the Public Health Foundation of India, and a member of the COVID task force also with us this evening. Good evening to all of you. We'll also have Binoy Viswa, member of parliament for the Rajya Sabha and a, and a CPI member joining us shortly. And we'll also have Sudesh Varma of the BJP with us shortly. But let me actually first go across uh, to Dr. Uh, Sudarshan Balal and ask him this question. Dr. Balal, 80% of the cases were asymptomatic so far. We're still seeing, you know, about roughly 1,000 to 2,000 patient, uh, cases being added every day. Are we moving too quickly in terms of bringing in relaxations? Uh, I think the government has done the right things. The relaxation would depend on the region where you see the doubling time and also the new cases that come on. I think uh, because of the lockdown, India has been very fortunate that the number of cases we have seen as compared to the U.S., uh, and Europe is far, far less. We have about 17,000 infections and uh, less than 50, 500 or 600 deaths, which for a country of 1.35 billion is uh, very remarkable. We cannot keep the lockdown forever, but I think the lockdown uh, should be removed in a phased manner and should be removed in areas where there are very few new cases and the doubling time, uh, like what's happening in Kerala, is uh, very long. So I think that's a decision that has to be taken based on how many cases come as positive, how many patients are sick, and what is the doubling time of the number of infections.